Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 41. The sun's just coming up. We're still at Rex's place. I was going to take off in the middle of the night, but then it started raining and I couldn't see anything. And then a wandering horde spawned. I killed a bunch of zombies out here. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Yeah, so can I see your inventory? See if we can pick up a bit more ammo before we go here. How many did I burn? 30 rounds? Do you got 30 rounds? You do. We'll take them. Get that topped off. Nice. So took stock of what we got last night. I made some repair kits, repaired our robotic no, turbine. I think I, I, think I on your way. Yeah. reloaded it. Yeah, maxed out. Reloaded. So we're ready to go. I think I'm going to fight this wandering horde out here this morning. They should detect that I'm here. And yeah, they didn't move all last night. They were quiet. And now the morning's come. They're like, yeah, there he is. Let's go get him. And I'm all like, fuck you guys. I hear you. You can't catch me because I'm too fast. Except for maybe this guy. Whoops. I cleared out most of the zombies here this at night. Ooh, two for one. God, this shotgun is brutal. Can't hit you. Where is Giggles? There you are. All right, what do we got over here? A little bit of brants. Yeah, like most of these zombies, they can't catch me. Ooh, coil ammo. Ooh, is that power? Nah, just military stuff. This is a bag from last night. Looks like there's still some uh, loiterers. One loiterer, anyway. Finish you off. You ain't got nothing for me, huh? Cheap bastard. All right, let's get out of here. We got some stuff we got to do today. I got to get the ammo. Oh, let's kill this bird too. Who am I hearing? Regular zombie. Well, I really suck. We almost got that ranked up. So I spent four, the four skill points that we had last night, put two into health nut, so that that should give us uh, 100 or sorry 260. It's at 240 now. It'll go up uh, for our health and stuff and. And uh, stamina, and then I put a point into. What did I put a point into? Oh, right. Uh, I finished off sushi up to max out our recipes, and then I put a point into uh, lucky looter to max out lucky looter. So let's get home. All right. Well, this is the western town above uh, wrecked. And I wonder if. I don't know if there's a bookstore here or not. If there is, we'll probably just quickly grab it. I mean, there's not a lot of paper there, but there's still a, a you know an okay amount. Actually, what I want to do, I'm gonna grab this uh, workbench here because we need some forged iron. I can't remember. I don't know what we've got at the uh, horde base. I think I took most of the material back to the house. In which case, we don't have much. There it is right there. In which case, we don't have much at the Horde base. So I need to have that for some repairs. Because I want... I want to try and repair the... Uh... Let's take the honey. I want to try and repair the uh, electric fences and stuff. I don't know if we're going to get... Um... Wolf over there. Alright, let's go in this way. 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to get a... Uh... I don't know if we're going to get any behemoths or stuff tonight. And if we do, I want to make sure that um, we can repair the damage that they do. Like, I don't think they're going to do a lot of damage, but... Mother trucker! Oh, hey, Kenny. Oh, come on. There we go. Problem solved. And, wow, almost no books. Grab that. Gunpowder. Bonus. That guy sounds like he's having a bad time out there. The plastic, for sure. Yeah, some more ammo. Alright. It's not too bad, I guess. Scrap you. Yeah, we can scrap both of these guys. Alright, so we found a few books. Might as well grab the wood while we're here. Where are we parked? Back this way. This guy sounds like he's having a really bad time out here. Can't be a wandering horde. Oh, they killed him. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help you out, buddy. Well, I don't really care. Hey, Mr. Biker Boy. Where is the uh, last guy? Wolf over there. Do I need any meat? I don't really. Wow. Thanks for showing up, bud. Should kill that dog. So we're gonna go to buy Jen's place because she restocked on day 40. All the traders did. So if we can get to Jen's place first, excuse me. We'll go to Jen's place first, then we'll go back to our new house, grab anything we're gonna need for the horde, head back over to the horde base. Um, and if we've got time, we'll go right to Hugh first. Actually, should we go... You know what? I think we can go home faster first. Because our house is here. Who's here? There's no trader there. So we'll go back to our house first. We'll go visit um, Bob. Sell him whatever we can sell him. Buy whatever he's got that's important. Go to our our new house, drop everything off, then we'll grab what we need for the horde, go over to the new base, get everything set up and ready to go for the horde, and then maybe we do some raiding or something to finish out the day. Now at some point I think we're probably going to have to do just a straight up mining episode. We'll go mine all the nodes near our house. Uh, we do have the uh, coal and nitrate nodes. I think the nitrate's a little bit more important than the coal. Because we can make, um... We can make, uh, farm plots with those. And we've been buying coal, too, so I don't foresee us needing a tremendous amount of gunpowder moving forward. I mean, we might need it for... steel jacketed ammo for our, uh, Mark, Mark II turrets. When we get Mark II turrets made, but we don't need it right away. What we need, really, more than anything is iron. Because we're going to have to update our base to uh, stainless steel. At least the outside of it. And that's going to take a lot of steel. So, oops, excuse me. We're definitely going to have to make sure we have a ton of steel. So a couple things I've been considering about how we're going to go across the wasteland. So there's a couple ways we can do it. One, we can get the mastery for... Um, scientist and take the radiation pills go across with full armor two we can get mastery in um, mechanic and build the marauder which is a massive 4x4 and pretty much drive across the wasteland with that thing it's got tons the benefit of that is it's got tons of storage however we'd have to have um, just regular um, hazmat gear on which isn't going to afford us much protection, but if we don't have to stop, we should be fine. Then the other option 
is to run across using hazmat gear, which I think I'm probably going to do. Uh, we may take off directly after this next horde. I'd like to attempt to do that. Oh, we picked up a coil weapon. I didn't even see that. Um, sell the light. I don't think there's anything else in here I want to sell. The battery we can scrap. So let me see what you have. Solar cells. Yeah, I mean, the only way we're going to get solar is through Caitlyn, and we haven't found her yet. I think she's probably in the wasteland. There are rare chances of her not being in the wasteland, so we might find her in the snow biome. Okay, nothing there I want. Nothing there. Nope. Uh, military leg armor, no. Okay, do you have hazmat? Nope. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I'll buy these for plastic. It's not a lot. I mean, the amount you pay for it is like. It's like nothing, and for the like I said before, as long as you keep buying them, the extra plastic, it's like totally worth it. Just buy 19. Get that stack topped up again. I think we're okay. Otherwise, we'll probably be using the coil a lot tonight. We're gonna have 24 zombie hordes, so it'll be a little more than normal. Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Do we have jobs from you? Yeah, we got one from you. Uh, you don't really have anything. Okay, so range traps. That's how we get range traps two. Yeah, I can't get um, range traps three. So range traps one and two are covered in the um, laborer class. Range Traps 3 is where you get the, um, the Mark II turrets, and it's not covered in the uh, mechanic or the laborer class, so you have to kind of rank it up. So I would rather pen spend the points with him, spend the coin. It's so much cheaper to do it that way than it is to go ahead and actually uh, spend the points. Oh yeah, that's the driving we have to do. I don't want to get stuck out here though. See, even the game knows. The game knows that our house is so much better. That's why it cleared up the sky. We're arriving at home. The sky clears up. It's like, yeah, you got the right house. Here, I'll even make it sunny for you. That's what it's saying. There we go. Let's take stuff out of here. Oh, we've only got gas in there. Perfect. We didn't really grab a lot, but we got, like, what do we get in pages? 228? That's not bad. Couple of more libraries worth and we're good to go. Now we got a library in this town. Which I can't remember if we looted or not. Alright, let me just put this stuff away. Alright, we got somebody breaking blocks down here. Where are you? There you are. Well... You can't say the neighbors don't appreciate it. Appreciate us being here. Actually, they don't. They want me gone. They're just coming out of the woodwork. Look at this. Well, maybe we'll get another level today. I got one last night. Three mechanical parts. I can't remember what we've left at the old base. Yeah, see, they broke stuff there already. Gonna have to find a way. Ring around the rosy. Oh, hey, buddy. Zzz, buddies. Uh. Is that it? Really banging on walls over there. I think that's it. Gonna have to find a way to defend this place so that I don't have to actually shoot anybody. I, mean, I guess I could put traps around it and stuff. But, whatever. Alright, so our concrete mix is done. Got a little bit of, of uh, concrete we picked up on the way home, so we'll get that going. I'm going to put another... It's 41. Let's get 300. Because I think between this... Like, I was planning on going to the wasteland next. Um... 
and crossing it. But I think we really need, before we do that, before we go to that, I mean, it's, it's a tough choice. Before we go ahead and, and do that bunker, I think we need to get another horde base going. I think if our current horde base lasts and is fine, we'll take off and go to the wasteland. But if it doesn't last, like if it does, if a lot of damage happens to it, we'll have to stay and repair it. Or rebuild or build a new base. I don't know yet. Actually, can I read this one? I can. I read a lot of these maps around here too. We might have a chance to go. You know what? Maybe we go do a couple of those today before the horde. We gotta go to the traders. We've got 249, which is not bad. We're almost halfway there. Alright, let's go to sell this stuff. I gotta take all of my money. Now we've got two wire tools here. So we can sell one. And I put some arrows somewhere here we can just get rid of. So we're never going to use them. I know I could scrap them, but we're okay for iron. So let's get some food going too. Now, pumpkin bread is apparently the best. We've only got four pumpkins though. I think it's pumpkin egg. And what is it? Um... We can make orange tea now, too, which we should probably do. Can I make pumpkin bread, or is that, um... Oh, all the special ones are... Pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin bread is super cheap, like pumpkin, cornmeal, and water, and it, it's the best... You know, for return on investment. So, cornmeal. Got two of those out. Do we have any cornmeal? I thought I bought some. I don't see any. Where's our, uh, here we go. Didn't make any either, eh? Alright, well, that'll only take a couple of seconds, and then we'll get four pumpkin bread going. Because that's just crazy. It's like 60, uh, 60 food or something like that. And then let's get some orange tea going, which I think we need this and oranges. We don't have a lot of oranges. Six of them. Sure, get that started too. That'll be here for when we come back. Now, we have some of this we can use. That'll give us some wellness. Do we have any other food here? That doesn't give us wellness, though. Though it doesn't. Let's make meats. Take the meat stew. I'm actually going to make some more meat stew before we go. Potatoes, corn, and water. For me, it's the most efficient. Big 10. The thing about meat stew is, uh, a lot of people don't know this, is it regenerates your stamina. Or your, your food, I mean. So once you eat it, it only gives you 20, but then it starts to regenerate your food for X amount of time. Um, which actually ends up being more than 60. So if you're if you're at like, like 60, and you eat food that gives you 60, it caps it at 100. But this will keep regenerating it, which is why I like it so much, and it's relatively cheap to make. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Now, do we have anything we need to take with us? I should probably take some concrete blocks, though. Let's take some concrete for repairs. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we have it over there already. Don't need that. Are you making steel? No, you were making this, though. Which I might be able to get going before we go. Okay, so... Uh, where's our sand? Here we go. You know, we get 1,400 mix going. What are we missing? Sand. All right, well, um, let's get 1,000 sand going for now. Okay, we'll put this stuff away. Let's put away you. I need to take, I don't know what we got over there. Take that. Because I thought we brought all this stuff with us. So we need to take some electrical parts. Actually, you know what? Let's wrench those. We'll take this stuff with us. We'll get some electrical and mechanical parts when we're over there. Nothing else that we need? No? Alright, let's get to Jen's place. Right after we murder this guy. Where are you? Well, thanks for showing up. Right, 
I'm gonna pop in here real quick because I want to just see normally if I've been through a place like this I've taken the uh... yeah we haven't been here yet okay cool so we'll clear that place out and then hopefully we can get a job to do it again and if we can then um, we should get enough books for a mastery so a good case scenario for us would be that Jen has the uh, laser workbench that's like the best case scenario. Come on, hazmat. Ah, uh, well, I'll take these. Yeah, if she's got the laser workbench. Uh, one of my offline playthroughs, I was able to get it from her. Uh, I didn't need to go to the wasteland for a long time. Like, when you can make carbines, like, your, your stuff and get everything le ranked to level 80 before you go do the end game bunker... It's just so good. It's so easy when you get there. Uh, but it's also more difficult too because um, obviously it's later later stage game and everything in the bunker is like demons and stuff, right? So you got to be wary of that too. That's the thing I'm worried about with when I go to um, hit up the uh, the next bunker or the, the first uh, research lab is that um, we don't get there like at a stage where there's like um, demons that have a chance to be to uh, spawn because I don't want to be facing demons in there, you know. Like I mean, we can we've got the ability to overwhelm them with our firepower, but if I don't have to do that, you know, all the better. All right, we hit up a half decent number of boulders in the way here too. Got some nitrate, some coal, and some iron. Which is nice, definitely gonna need that. Okay, I guess we can get forged iron off of her stuff here too. But... Hello, traveler. Hello, What's Jen. Not much. My back's a little sore. Wow, you don't want any of that stuff, eh? Okay. Fair enough. Um Alright, well we sold you a little bit. Well, it's not too bad. Uh, now, do you have any hazmat or anything else cool like the laser workbench? Because that would be really nice. Uh, fortifying grip, no. 46 boots. Can definitely use the 46 boots. That's an automatic buy. Helmet, no. All right, well, we'll take your plastic. Okay, nothing in there, nothing in there. Nope, nope. I think I want from there. And no hazmat. Nah, well, you can't win them all. And I can't win any of them anyway. Okay, no workstation. You got garbage there. What do you got here? Shotgun shells. Are we using the pump tonight? I think we're just going to use the... Uh, I think we're just going to use the coil. I'll use the pump for running around. For now. Military boots. No. Alright, nothing else there. Okay, well, thanks, thanks for, for being here. Stay safe um, out there. We got a job from you, right? Yeah. Any recipes? Never mind. Do you have any other work? Sure, I have no idea who that is, but... Alright, let's get over to Hugh. See what Hubert's got for us. Oh man, I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know. Nothing. You know what? I'm deciding we're not going to go to Hughes. Uh, we're going to hit up a few more of these boulders on the way back. We're going to go right to the Horde base, I think. Because I don't think we got enough time to really do that. I mean, we could probably s quickly speed to Hughes. And then um, get straight to the horde base, but I don't know if we'll have enough. So I uh, know we got time. We got time. Let's go to Hughes. We're gonna go straight there. Ah, uh, you know what I meant to do before we left our uh, our new house is I meant to go ahead and prep everything that I was gonna need to go to the bunker with, just so that I know that I've got everything ready. So. The stuff that we need, we need four green key cards, um, 
one. Well, we need two because, from what I understand, what Kane has said, that the bunker might be bugged out. So you need to run through it first before accepting the quest to do it properly. And then go back and accept the quest. And then when you go through it the second time, uh, the spawners generally don't spawn anything. So if you set the quest to go first, the spawners might not spawn anything in. So in order to do it fairly, you kind of have to run through it once. And then... Um, go out and then come back in again. So we're going to do that. We're going to go in once, clear it out. I'll grab whatever I can from the lockers. I'm probably going to bring a workbench with me. So you need four, four green key cards, two for the first time you go through, two for the second time you go through. You might find some there, but you might not. So you got to make sure you have stuff. Oh, this guy's got to go down. You got to go down, buddy. I'm sorry, but, uh, and you got nothing for me. Let's grab this boulder. So, I gotta make sure I've got four on me. I hear you. I hear you, Giggles. I ain't got time for you. I got a, Is that a hazmat guy? It is. He's tempting me to go into the town here. Let's mine him. See, this is why. Right there. That's why you gotta kill these guys, because once again... She's attacking me, and I can't get out of this. Not so tough now, are you? She won't let me out. You want a piece of me? And there it is. Not so tough now, are you? I can't even escape. Oh, there we go. Uh, I wasn't until I got wounded. So that's uh, a clip I need to get for Kane, and I'm infected. So there you go. That's the reason why you killed him. I I could have died there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know whether it was the wound or screw you. Yeah, see, I can't even attack her. Um, well, I don't know what to say. I just, uh, ooh, we started and I came right back into the crashed. Oh, wow. I can't even attack her. Alright, well I had to reload again. So I have no idea what the hell is going on. I don't know what the heck. Where's my bike? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, so it's something to do with the with her. I'm not going to go near her because it may happen again, but... And, and like I said, it's very, very rare when that happens. Like, it doesn't happen all the time. Um, as you've seen through the series, I've been near those guys. I've been... I stabbed a few of them. Oh, and there's our old horde base. Um, and then... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is with them. So... And like I said, it only ha Like, this is the first time it's happened in this series. But I gotta make sure I kill them, because if I don't... And I, get, I go into a spin lock like that, when there's like a lot of like tougher zombies around, I'm screwed, right? And what do I do? Imagine fighting a wandering horde, and the wandering horde beats you to death, and your first death is because of that. Like I haven't died yet, right? I got four of those enemy kills, but I got zero deaths, so like I mean, I guess I can go through here. You know, it's just kind of frustrating when shit like that happens. Anyway, I'm going to bypass all this stuff because the last time we, we did that... What's your story? My story? I would have guessed you'd pull through. Oh, good. Jen wanted me to come here. So here you go. My story is I got shit to sell you, buddy. Uh, and that's it. All right. Um, so do you have anything useful? Yeah, anyway, like if you were to die to something like that, it's like the worst thing, right? You work so hard and then something cheap like that kills you. And as much as you want to say that, oh, you just won't count it. Go buy those. Um, it still registers, you know, and every time you, like, look at your uh, your stats, it just shows up there and just reminds you of, uh, of bullshit, you know? 
All right, that's it for those. Thing there. Do you have... You've got hazmat gloves. We'll buy those. We can scrap that. So now we can make two radiation-ready things once we're able to make them. And that's it for that. Well, good luck with that. All right, we'll just scrap those. Another three parts. Parts is parts. All right. Let's get an orange out. Let's make it to the horde base. Hey, how'd you get in? Well, I know how you got in, but... Let's hope the bike isn't dead. It is. Okay, well... Uh, let's just pick it up. Now, um, where's our base? That way? Do I have to run through downtown? Probably. Right there. Alright, well, shotgun out. Full speed it is. You know, I thought it was going to happen. I should have just gone to the horde base. Just trying to maximize my time. I don't have to go back to Hugh until, until he restocks. But uh, I've been running full speed since um, I switched to the shotgun and I, my stamina hasn't dropped yet. So the one thing we haven't picked up was electrical parts. Which I think I can just get off something like this. There's four. And I'm sure I can find an AC unit or something here. I know there's one at the side of that building. We're almost home. Not that worried. Like I said, if I if I had to run through here we go. If I had to run through the wasteland in my past series to get home during a horde night, I'm not that worried about this. Alright, we should be fine. Here's something I'm wondering. So if a wandering horde is set to spawn, like so last night a wandering horde happened, right? The Wandering Horde is set to spawn during a Horde Night. Do they spawn at the same time? So my max um, Horde Alive Zombies is 24. But that's not the max Alive Zombies. Max Alive Zombies is 100. So could a Wandering Horde spawn during a regular Horde and for a brief moment in time you end up having more zombies? That's interesting. Maybe we'll find out tonight. Maybe there'll be a Burst of zombies. At some point, we'll find out. Respawn. That's interesting. I don't have my bedroll here, though. That's why. And I moved the stuff out that was here. So that was a respawn. I don't think he got up anywhere. All right, let's get our load out for tonight. Okay, so we don't need these tools. Those can go in there. A um, little bit of cobble. Good thing I brought the concrete. Uh, we have a little, little bit of concrete, but not much. Bring that out, that out, that out. Uh, I don't think we're going to need that many Molotovs. We'll bring this just in case. Rocket launcher. we got a few rounds for it, so we can use that. How's our M4? It should be fine. Worst case... Ooh, I left all my repair kits at the other place. We'll bring the M4 with us. Okay, so the stuff we don't need can go in here. Um, I might need wood. Definitely need that. Uh, I was going to switch those over, but I don't have time. I can make some junk turret ammo when we're over there. Uh, I don't need the motorcycle. I don't need the gas. I don't need you. How are we doing? Not looking too bad. Um, let's go ahead and use one of these guys. Uh, I'm going to grab another stack of this. That, that junk turret's got to get put down. Um, we're going to need that for the end of the night. So let's move you guys down here. What do I want to use? You. And you. And in here we should have... A ton of coil ammo. 
Um, bring you down. Leave you up there. Uh, leave you up there. That, I don't think I'm going to encounter any demons tonight. But we'll have that there just in case. That for repairs. The rocket launcher I'll bring down if I need it. Uh, grenades we can bring down just in case. That will hold on. Two, um... Feel like I'm missing something. Uh, we're leaving our regular shotgun stuff here. Well, I wonder if I should bring it with me. Uh, I don't think we have to go overkill. We want to bring that, though. Uh, we've got forged iron, right? Steel, electrical parts, iron, regular iron, junk turret ammo. I gotta make some darts for these things. I haven't done it yet. Let's grab... Uh, where are you here? One of these guys. I think that's it. I don't think we need anything else. How are you doing? Plenty of gas. And I'm pretty sure I put ammo in the turret. I did. Okay, you're loaded. Right? You. Alright, we should be good. In theory. So, I lag when I'm shifting weapons for some reason. Oh, I brought the shotgun with me. That's why it was lagging. Okay, I don't think we're going to want that on us. Let's leave it there. That can go there. So let's in fact bring that down. Are you loaded? No, you're not. Uh, frags. And we'll switch the uh, things like that. Oh boy, I know I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. Um, got the repair material. Whoa, I got the steel, right? Yeah. I can't... Oh, repair kits. I don't have any repair kits. Uh, do I have repair kits? I don't have the material to make it either. I don't have anything here for those, so... Nothing we can do about that. Alright, well... Right, we should be good to go. Get that maxed out. That maxed out. Oh. Got a junk turret in here already. Are you loaded? You're not. Oh, you might be. Those are just regular guys down there. Let's get this guy reloaded. Oh, he is reloaded. Um, alright. Well, we got that just in case. Oh, boy. Okay, we wanted to repair... Those guys. That fence is fine. I mean, you're fine. You know what we're missing, though? I should probably make a... Um, concrete shape. I mean, if a behemoth shows up, these aren't going to last very long, but I mean, at least it's a uh, shape. Um, at least it's a little bit of protection. Uh, this one. And we want to go advanced. That's not good. That's part of our building falling. Oh, is there still one there? I guess there is. Alright, well, that's fine. 
We'll just turn this back into a regular block. I should probably make one... At least one more. Just in case, you know? If something happens, you know we're ready. I'll switch that on when we're ready to go. Okay. Best as it's ever going to be. This could be brutal. Alright, what's the uh, what's our game stage here? 189. 24 zombie horde. Should be fine. Gonna start off with this guy, I think. Will I? We shall see, my friend. We shall see. Nope, you're gonna suffer. I got shotgun maxed out, Bubba. Cop got punted. And he exploded. I'm trying to kill the, uh... There's his... So 24, this should still be fairly good at the speed that those things fire off. What we need to do is, um, I gotta make rad removers. Because they don't really do any damage. You know? I'm really hoping they drop some red pages. Be nice to get into, uh, advanced tech sooner rather than later. I mean, I know you, you need to be a certain level, like it's like 120 or something, I think. But at least having it done, you know, so that as soon as you turn that level, you're ready to go. I gotta keep my ammo here. Second phase, we'll, uh, we'll start opening up on people really uh, heavily. But until that point... Ah, I missed her. At that time. Then we'll start killing these guys. Actually, we can, we can afford to use a few Molotovs, I think, though. Not bad. Get a little bit of fire down there. It's not going to help with the guys that regen, but... I think there was a bunch of normal zombies out there, so they should catch on fire and die. I'll drop another one down there, too, probably, just to thin them out a bit. Help my frame rate about out, out a little bit. Okay, we got another one of those little... little guys. So if a behemoth does show up, we're just going to be overpowering it with our weapons. So tomorrow, if this base manages to stay intact like this, we'll probably use it again and we'll just take off and go down to do that, uh, the quest for Eve, the Eve's final quest, the, uh, the bunker quest. So what I'll probably end up doing is running ac across the wasteland. It'll be a nice social experiment to see if you can actually do it with just regular radiation gear, no armor. And then, um, uh, we'll make it across the wasteland with just a shotgun and our, our gear on. Throw the motorbike down, and then we'll drive to the bunker, do the bunker job. We've got to get down there and do and be done the bunker before night drops, I think. And if we burn through it as quick as I think we can, then I, I don't think we're going to have to worry about a screamer. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not that concerned about it. Because you can get in and out of that place real fast, you know. It, uh, you can actually get in and out of there really fast. Alright, this wave is going to come to an end here real shortly. So, I mean, they are, I mean, it is doing some damage to these guys. Not a lot, but... I think a lot of it was mostly from the um, 
Mostly from the flames here. One way out there. But depending on where I stand, you know, sometimes they'll come after the... I don't know. It's really hard to predict what the zombies are going to do. If I just watch Guns, Nerds, and Steel's um, Horde Night, uh, I don't know what episode it was, 29 or something like that. Um, it was a brutal, like a brutal Horde Night for him. Incubus got into his base and stuff. And I was thinking, man, it's mostly because you're attempting to take on a Darkness Falls Horde like you would take on any other, other Horde. I th I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. And it's like... You, you have to control the flow of the zombies, like with this, right? It's about controlling the flow. If you just let them try and assault your base, I mean, then you need a ton of resources to keep it going. I totally get it. I mean, I love his base, don't get me wrong. I think it's a fantastic base, even for Darkness Falls. But at 64 zombies, it's like, he was brutally assaulted. And when, I mean, he only had, I think, three, three succubuses that night show up. When he gets, like, you know, six or seven of them above his base or more, it's going to be an issue, you know? Why is there no... Are we getting lucky with the uh, waves here? I thought we would have, like, way more demos and way more cops. Maybe it's just radiators? All right, well, we got to start getting... Um, some skill up with this thing. I have to make some armor piercing ammo for this eventually, but for now the regular ammo will do just fine. Oh, there's the bears. Animal waves just sitting, I guess. Delete. Yeah, if the radiator behemoths get up to his door, it could be real bad for him. Like, what I try to do with this, and it might not be that that evident to start, but when you control the regular zombies, and by regular I mean anything that's not like a behemoth, right? So that they can't get to you, for the most part. Like, these guys can't make it to my door. Like, there's only a handful of zombies that can, right? Now, once again, there's our first behemoth. We don't have the zombies maxed out. And I can't I can't run it, unfortunately. I wish I could. But what you'd want to do... I think he's dead. What you'd want to do is have three turrets going. Three sledges. Oh, no, he's still there. Because the, the sledges can knock even the behemoths off, right? The bigger ones, like the radiated ones, might get past. So there's two ways you can do it. One, you can have two out there. Oops, not that. Ah, you got through, did you? Um, so yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so... Why is my turret not firing? It's on. I haven't heard it go off. Anyway, um, so, uh, the occasional behemoth will get through. Or bear. But, I mean, you can just quickly overpower them at the door. And if you're not facing, like, 30 or 40 guys right at the door, if it's only a handful of zombies that are able to make it through, then, you, like, you really don't have a problem, you know? You can just mitigate... with a merry-go-round like this. You know what I mean? Because, like, honestly, these guys going to get through? I, I don't know, maybe. Some of the tougher ones will get through. Now, it's a lot harder for his base because... Oh, hey. It's a lot harder for his base because he's got, um... 64 zombies on, right? Which is almost three times what I have. So it's a lot more difficult, but... If you had three of these going, most of the zombies would get knocked off and you'd have full control over them. 
And you can still put a pit down there. You know, if you want to fire a rocket launcher or something from where you are up here. But... This is kind of a great way to... Mitigate what they get, what these guys can do to you. Will I? Yeah, we're getting we're getting a light zombies tonight. So I can't. I mean, I, I shouldn't be making uh, comments based on the zombies that we're getting tonight because it's really not that threatening. But even at twenty four. I was actually concerned at how many would get through on 24 zombies. I thought a lot more zombies would be getting through. But really it's only been a handful here or there. Like it's just the fire rate is so ridiculous. We've had no demos either. We've been really lucky. That's not to say they won't show up later in the evening, but... Ow. That was a big hit. I heard him vomiting again. Where are you? I'm infected. I haven't cleared it up since we uh, got stopped. The survivor almost killed us. Yeah, the new base is going to solve this issue. The issue of having to shoot on that angle. It's all going to go away. Hey, buddy. He's down. Yeah, we've been so lucky tonight. Here's our first demo. Here's a test. Did he get punted? Kind of. Ooh. Fucker made it through. I'm shocked the... Um, I'm shocked the uh, electrical fence isn't doing more work. Uh, let's just use one of these guys. Actually, no, nah, let's use these. Oh, hey, guys. How are you doing today? Oh, you fell off, did you? Alright, well, that's fine. Ah, shit, that was me. Guess we're doing some repairs. I mean, it's still probably fine for the next Horde Knight, right? There you are, you bastard. He's hiding behind all the zombies. The good thing about the next base is that the cops shouldn't be able to see us until they get up on the uh, walkway directly in front of us, in which case we should be taking their heads off. I hear you down there. Yeah, it's getting a little, little more intensive now. this healed up. We should spend some points and do, um... Oh, you made it through. Nice. We should put some points into, uh, healing. Where's that demo? He's breaking shit. Cop got punted. How are you doing for health? Man, you're regenerating like crazy. Put that one right in the face, though. We can leg him. Fuck off. Couldn't leg him.
I tried to get that cop. Hey, Mo. Oh, come on, just die. Yeah, they're making a better, uh, better attempt at getting through, that's for sure. He's down. The thing I don't like spray and pray against hordes like this is that um, when the zombies have a fair amount of regen, um, unless you finish the kill, it's a waste of ammo. Come on, you ass. The one benefit of the, uh, oh, they broke the block. That was cobblestone anyway. Guess I better, um, whittle it down. Hey, try hard. See if we can get anything good here. Ooh, military helmet. Pistol ammo, which isn't bad. Titanium. I want to make sure I don't put the uh, thing down here. Looks like we're in the last phase. Demo's still going, huh? Or is he a new one? I think he's just still going. Alright, well. Earn him a little bit. There's a few of them that'll be affected by the fire. Oh, hey, you. Oh, there's the morning. That was free XP. Alright, well, I think we're going to lead the um, demos away from the base. Yeah, they're still, uh... They're tearing this place a new one. Catch those guys on fire. Now, I don't know. If we stay up here... Oh, man, it's gonna be bad if we stay up here. We're gonna get a screamer. At least this guy's silenced. Okay, he's down. Where's the other one? That's what I should have done, is I should have put all my mods from here onto that coil rifle. At least the electricity ones. It makes such a huge difference. Alright, I think we're good. The only thing that can kill us now, I think, is lag. Oops. And perhaps us. We can kill ourselves by uh, not turning that off. Do I want to... Let's put you... Use you. That it matters. Pick you up. That ought to help. We can disable their uh, regen with our spear. Come on, you guys. I gotta get out of here today. I got a long way to go. Oh, hey. Yeah, we got a long way to go, and I really hope we get there before nightfall. The lag is brutal. The junk turrets out of ammo. Ooh, 
We are getting a fair amount of experience, though. I don't think the junk turrets add to heat. Disable the regen. Ooh, that was steel armor. I'm probably not going to uh, go to the trader at all. We're just going to get the hell out of here. Come on, you guys. Got places to be. We got a long way to go. I mean, I guess I could try and just run across the wasteland and like an area near me. We're going to take both junk turrets. I should really craft some darts before we go to. I don't know how long it's going to take though. Okay, let's use you. And then use one of these. That was power armor. That was power armor. That's Kenny. Kenny! F off. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud! What the hell is it? Go the fuck away! Oh, it's a wandering horde. Because what else would it be at this point in time? The lag is gonna get me killed. The lag is gonna get me killed. Look down. Look down. Don't fall off. Look down. There we go. Let's go in here for a second. Close this up. Well. Alright, what do we got that we can just scrap? We can pitch that. There's a bunch of stuff in here that just gets scrapped. That can get scrapped. You can get thrown away. Scrap. Scrap. I mean, I could use the titanium arrows. I can pull them apart, but I can't get titanium out of them, so what's the point? Scrap you. Um, ergonomic grip is really, really nice. Anything else? That can get scrapped. Okay, well, let's bring some mollies down. We're not getting out of here anytime soon. My god, really? Don't use this. Use this. Okay, bear's down. You're down. Yeah, we're not getting out of here. This wandering horde could not have come in at the worst time. I'm still gonna run the risk of going, I think. I think if we go expecting that we're gonna have to fight the horde elsewhere. Then um, I think we'll be fine. Fucking guy thought he could come up on me. Screamer. And she called in a horde. Well, I was really hoping to get away. We're not going now. There's no way. I don't have any ammo left. Uh, oh, fuck off. Oh. 
We could be in an endless loop of screamers. Fuck. That's another one. Where the hell is she? We gotta get out of here. That was her. Okay. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Okay, he's down. So one of the junk turrets is down. That was probably from me hitting it. Oh, you got a piece of me. Oh, better, uh... So you can see the difference, like, just one junk turret makes. Or junk sledge, that is. Ow! Wow, there goes a block out the, off the outside of the building. Alright, we're hurt. Yeah, we're, in, we're into repair modes today. There's nothing we can do about this. Alright, we'll use you. Now, are we fractured, or what are we here? Sprained, so that's splint, right? Yes. All right. Well, let's actually get uh, ourselves healed up. Uh, where are you here? Hmm. Well, I mean, I've been in worse situations than this. Uh, one more. Bro. So we're down to enough zombies here that I can probably get to this fucking cop. The demos aren't so bad. Alright, so I don't know how I'm going to deal with these guys now. The bear's got to go. You've got to go. Come on, get up. I know you're faking it. Thank you. And I'm crouched in there. Oh, bag lag. Am I making junk turret ammo? I'm not. Uh, let's make some. Couple hundred, maybe? The cops were all dead. There goes another block outside. Somehow I'm hitting the block and not this guy. Oh, there you are. Stand up. All right, now I think we can just take care of the bear with some fire. All righty. We're almost there. Oh, wow, man, you got like a good reach. And somehow, I'm, even though I'm pointing at you, I'm not hitting you. Is my other junk turret down? It's not. How are you doing? 
Oh, you're bleeding. That should get the bear. Oh, man. Yeah, he's bleeding. I gotta avoid using guns at this point. That might have got the bear. We're almost done here. We're gonna lose bags because of this, too. Damn it. Alright, the bear's almost done. I don't have any repair kits, so I can't fix you. Come on, Mr. Bear. You're done. All right, looks like the last guy. Oh man, that horde. I talked about it coming during the middle of the night and like it came at the worst possible time for the multi-tool. Come on. Hopefully we can get some more of these bags before they despawn. Oh, that was nice. Um. That's a bear. Where did you come from? Come on. I have no idea where that guy was. Um, don't need you. 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 Uh, this can get scrapped. This can get scrapped. Take those. Oh, that's a sniper. Don't need that. Man, we're pretty close. Take that for the money. Turret ammo. More stuff to scrap, probably. Alright. Um, scrap you. Hang on to that. Can scrap that, scrap that. All right, well, I don't think there's any bags left in here. Pretty good. Oh, we got another one over here. Under the bear. Or a baseball bat. Anything in here? No, but they're slowly bringing this building down. Like, this has got, like, maybe one horde left in it. Okay, um... Alright, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm going to go in here and get stuff sorted. I'm going to have to get stuff fixed here. Ah, I think we need to build a new base first before we go to, through the wasteland, unfortunately. That's the way it's going to have to be. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. When we come back, it'll be right after this one. Um, yeah, until next time. We'll see you later.